And Stuart, uh, these workers just happen to be working to the at the house next door to the one where the toddler fell in. Uh, that house is right behind that sheriff's vehicle there, and the canal is just behind the house. Now, this canal is around three or four feet deep, and it's not clear how long this one-year-old girl was underwater, but rescuers say uh, she was blue and not breathing when they got there. And as these construction guys were working next door, they heard the mother screaming, and you'll hear first from the one who got there first, uh, and then you'll hear from the man who started the CPR and revived her. I went out to the dock, I went next door, and I saw the lady just put the baby onto the dock. She was still in the water, I could see like this much of her. It's heartbreaking to see something like that happen, and, and I'm glad that the three of us were here today. And you're hopeful for her. I'm, I'm pretty sure that all of these things, the stars were aligned for us all to be here. I'm pretty sure God's not going to let anything further bad happen to that little girl. The baby girl was flown to a hospital in Orlando and paramedics told the uh, construction guys that uh, she was showing some encouraging signs. That second man you just heard from, Gary Hammes, says he was well trained in CPR when he was in the Navy and he is certainly glad. He had that training. We're live on Merritt Island. Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.